I'm pleased to welcome all of you to the inaugural Cornell Tech at Bloomberg Speaker Series. This event really gets to the heart of what Cornell Tech is about, which is building a much more porous kind of interaction between academia, students and faculty, practitioners and thought leaders. Bloomberg is dedicated to bringing people and ideas and information together. So please welcome Sam Altman. I'd like to get your sense right now at the almost two year mark, where have you come the furthest and where do you have the furthest to go? We never get comfortable. Uh, we always talk about what we need to improve. We need to get better at picking, get better at helping, fund more companies, figure out how to grow. One new area that we have really invested in a lot uh, in the last two years that we didn't do at all before that is biotechnology. How often are you kind of reevaluating what the companies are worth, either on an individual basis or collectively? Never. Intermediate valuations for startups are completely made up and don't matter. In the election cycle, we're talking a lot about investors and carried interest and whether that should be taxed. I think it's ridiculous that we get a tax break on carried interest. There is no logical way that I can justify why the returns that we earn managing other people's money um, should get capital gains treatment. What do you see in terms of the potential for New York to develop as a, as a tech hub? New York is still, although less and less every year, dominated by finance. And I think if tech becomes the biggest thing in New York and not finance, uh, then like Silicon Valley is, is really in trouble. We advise our companies to try not to burn huge amounts of money. We always tell startups that we think it is a huge advantage if you have profitability within grasp. If the world went crazy, um, you could get to profitability without needing to raise any outside capital. How do you think we can best contribute to the tech scene in a meaningful way? It's sort of important to try and to be willing to risk failing. Most things just aren't that risky, but people weight the embarrassment of failure so high that they wildly miscalculate risk, and that's really, really bad. Sam, thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks for, for having joining me. us. It's been a pleasure.